Hi, this is Jill Kempner, Angel Professional, and this is the weekly angel card reading for April 2nd through April 8th, 2018. Happy, happy. Happy first week of April. Yay, spring is really here. And also happy Mercury retrograde. We're about kind of second week of retrograde. Um, <clears throat> and so the we're going to be working with the Archangel Oracle card deck this week by Doreen Virtue. And the question this week is, what archangels are helping us transform the energy of heartache and grievances into unconditional love and compassion? And so the week begins on Monday and Tuesday with Archangel Metatron and the energy of chakra clearing. <clears throat> and I'm gonna bring this <clears throat> Metatron's Ascension key in. Sorry, I have allergies. <laughs> So this is kind of a visual of um, the cube, Metatron's cube. And also, this is so cool, this thing. Um, <laughs> at 11, 11 a.m. and 11, 11 p.m. places a 13-foot um, energy field of unconditional love um, around me and anyone who's around me. So it's really cool. <laughs> and so... Um, on Monday and Tuesday, call on Archangel Metatron to clear and open your chakras using the glowing ball of healing light and sacred geometric shapes called Metatron's Cube. Your chakras, which are spinning energy centers that run along the link of, the, of your spine, are directly connected with your nervous system. When you regularly cleanse your chakras, you turn off the fight or flight stress response and you turn on the restore and repair called the parasympathetic nervous system. Archangel Metatron is known as the builder angel and Metatron is guiding you to build a relationship with your own energetic chakra system. We have 13 spiritual chakras, including the ear chakras. Um, although your chakras are all etheric, there are nine physical chakras. We have the root chakra, the sacral and navel chakra, your solar plexus chakra, all your um, inner organs, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your third eye chakra, your ear chakra, <clears throat> and your crown chakra. These are the physical body chakras. And then um, the other four chakras um, um, are what the angels call spiritual chakras, which reside in your energy field. That's going to be the earth star chakra connecting you to the earth the causal chakra, which is your halo, your soul star chakra, which has the blueprint of your soul's mission, and then the stellar gateway chakra, which is the highest point of your aura. Archangel Metatron is the gatekeeper of the stellar gateway chakra, again, the highest point of your aura. And uh, where you can visualize, uh, especially on Monday and Tuesday, uh, Metatron's cube, that glowing ball of healing light and sacred geometry, rotating downward, visualize it, rotating downward, cleansing away psychic toxins from your body and your chakra channel. When your chakras are clear and balanced, it's easier to hear the loving guidance of your celestial team of angels and allies. This week, the angels are focused on cleansing and healing the most important chakra, your heart chakra. Your heart is the center of your body and the center of the chakra channel. Your heart is the gateway of your soul and where the angels' loving messages flow in. So when your heart is holding on to ancient or current grievances or age-old grief or heartache, you miss out on important messages from your angels. Ask Archangel Metatron and his healing cube of light to pour in the angelic energy of compassion and unconditional love to wash away your heartache and any past hurts or betrayals. When your heart is free from emotional pain and disappointment, you can be present in each moment to connect with your intuitive guidance and the divine messages your angels are sending you. As we, um, and so what, some of the ways to cleanse the chakra channel is meditation, using Metatron's cube, deep breathing. Remember to use your tools with intention. As we ride the wave of Mercury retrograde, ask Archangel Metatron to help you to cleanse your heart chakra of older ancient grievances that weigh you down. And these ancient um, patterns of grief and grievance 
um, can get activated during the Mercury retrograde. And so the crystal to work with on Monday and Tuesday is going to be hematite. Um, and the um, it's an earth stone and the affirmation is I am a channel for light on earth. And although there's many um, crystals to cleanse your chakras, this is the one that Metatron wanted to work with on Monday and Tuesday of this week. It's a silver stone, it's a dense earth stone. And actually there's hematite in my earrings and in my bracelet. All made by my beautiful friend, Nicole, soul sister. Um, <clears throat> so as we move to the middle of the week, we're going to be working with Archangel Azrael and the energy and wisdom of counselor. And really look at this card, it's so beautiful. The wings look like a, like a church window or stained glass window. And so the message is, you are a natural counselor and many people benefit from your guidance and reassurance. If you are drawn to the angels and this video, you're probably an earth angel or a light worker. Your life's purpose may involve counseling people in ways that uplift, motivate, comfort, heal, and inspire. Archangel Azrael is saying, yes, you are a true spiritual counselor and people find you as a trustworthy confidant. Archangel Azrael is guiding you to expand your counseling work to the next level because you are going to help a greater number of people, which is really cool. Um, you can call on Archangel Azrael to guide your words and actions during counseling sessions to help you to remain in your heart with patience and compassion. Specifically, Archangel Azrael helps those counselors, counselors who work with the grieving or dying, like hospice helpers and workers. In the middle of the week, call on Archangel Azrael to help your friends and family who may be grieving the loss of a loved one. Visualize Archangel Azrael surrounding your sad or heartbroken friend, family, or loved one in a healing light. And ask that Azrael lift all the grief and heartache and replacing it with unconditional love and lots of compassion. This is angelic alchemy and prayer in action, which I really love. The angels say that it's important to honor the grief process and all the stages of grief. Also, it's important to recognize if you or someone is stuck in one of those grief stages, seek the wise counsel of Archangel Azrael, especially in the middle of the week on Wednesday and Thursday, and your celestial team of angels and allies to, to help you regularly cleanse your heart of ancient or recent grief, heartache, or grievances so that you can keep your heart open to the love and benevolence of the universe. This is also a message of needing or seeking emotional support. If your heart is hurting or if you feel an unshakable grief that prevents you from feeling loved or giving and extending love, it's time to talk it out. Ask for help from a licensed clinical social worker and ask Archangel Azrael to help you find the right therapist for you. Um, one of my favorite quotes is, pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. So in the middle of the week, hand over that suffering to Archangel Azrael. And as we ride the wave of Mercury retrograde, notice the reoccurring patterns of when you close your heart because it hurts or afraid of being hurt. Instead of seeking the wise and loving guidance of your angels and any earth angels. <clears throat> and so the crystal to work with in the middle of the week is Lepidolite. And this crystal, it's a water stone. And I love this affirmation. I move through all of, all of life's joys and sorrows, triumphs and traumas with serenity and grace. And so this is the energy of acceptance and serenity and miracles and it creates this expansive loving energy around you. It's a nice purple, it's a cool looking purple stone. Absolutely beautiful. <clears throat> and I just, the angels just said this, that you are, just by watching this video, you are receiving these energies um, from the crystals. And if you don't have the crystal, that you can wear the color of that crystal. And as we move to the weekend, we're gonna be working with Archangel Zadkael and the energy of compassion. <clears throat> Be 
beautiful. And so the message is, Archangel Zadkiel reminds you to soften your heart with respect to this situation and all the people involved, including yourself. When in doubt of how to respond to another's behavior or actions, always consult your beautiful heart first. If you see, are seeking compassion from another, give it to yourself first. <clears throat> Look inside yourself and find the loving light in your heart. If someone has hurt you, ask, how am I hurting myself? Archangel Zadkayal can help you be gently and lovingly honest with yourself um, and help you to course correct any self-judgments or heartaches into self-compassion. And that's angelic alchemy. Your true nature is a loving, compassionate being, and we are here on earth to awaken this divine truth in body, mind, and spirit. We have also agreed to experience certain challenges, grievances, and heartaches in order to learn, grow, and heal all through self-compassion. If you are suffering from a broken heart, betrayal, or a devastating disappointment, ask Archangel Zadkiel and your celestial team of angels and allies to send you and your wounds the angelic energy of compassion to both heal and release the heartache. Your aching heart can become a gem of joy and wisdom when held in unconditional love and compassion. Archangel Zadkael, you can call on Archangel Zadkael to enter your dreams and act like a chimney sweep, um, clearing away any emotional toxins from your heart. Archangel Zadkael can also help you to forgive yourself and others and to compassionately see everyone's point of view. Simply, um, simply approach all situations this weekend and over the weekend with a loving heart, which empowers you and allows creative solutions to pour forth, which I really love. Remember that during the Mercury retrograde, our karmic patterns can get stirred up and activated. Now is the time to invite Archangel Zadkiel into your heart and to radiate compassion and love and comfort, especially to your past selves and to your inner child. There is no shame or judgment if you have been hurt or even through your unawareness hurt another. The angels say that it's what you do today that matters most. Um, you have the ability to be a beacon of light and compassion to yourself and others through your thoughts, words, and deeds today <laughs> and over the weekend. Compassion and self-compassion will heal the world one heart at a time. And the angels remind you that when your heart breaks, it breaks Oh, not only open to let the light in, but it also breaks open to let your light out. And so the crystal to work with over the weekend is going to be, of course, rose quartz. The affirmation for rose quartz is I give love, I live love, I am love. And again, if you don't have any rose quartz, you can wear the color pink. Awesome. And so the um, remembering, and if you ever need a pick me up, remember the motto, all angels all the time. And so I wanna thank you so very much for taking the time to watch this video. I am sending you so much love and angel blessings for a beautiful week for chakra clearing and seeking wise counsel and compassion in your body, mind, and spirit and all your cells and into your beautiful, beautiful heart. And if you have any more questions about how the angels can help you heal your life, please visit my website at jillkempnerhealing.com. Have a beautiful week. See you soon. Namaste.